Let's give some tzedakah together with our tefillah, with our prayer for the well-being of all of Klal Yisrael. And one tefillah, one prayer, one blessing which will remedy all problems. And that is obviously the imminent coming of Mashiach. So the passage of this week starts called Bahar on the mountain. Starts with the words and God speaks to Moshe Rabbeinu Bahar Sinai on the Mount Sinai. What does he tell him? Daberat Bnei Yisrael speak to the Jewish people. Vamarta Aleim, you should tell them. Kisavoya la Oretz, when you come to the land, obviously to the land of Israel, Asharani Noise Lachem, that I am giving you. In other words, God is telling us here again that the land of Israel is something that He is giving us, the Jewish people. Bishaf Saharetz Shabbos Lashem. And the land shall rest a Shabbos for the Lord. So Rashi asks the obvious question. Starts saying, God speaks to Moshe Rabbeinu on Mount Sinai. Now, what's new about that? Everything was given to God on Mount Sinai. And then, what is he telling us? The laws of the sabbatical year, the laws of Shemitah, so Rashi uses that famous term, Ma in Sinai. What's the special connection about the laws of Shemitah, sabbatical year, with the Mount Sinai? Everything was given from Sinai. Isn't this where Moshe Rabbein went up three times to receive the Torah and to share the Torah with us? So why is the Torah emphasizing over here that the laws of Shemitah was given by, by God to Moshe Rabbeinu on Mount Sinai? And Rashi goes on to tell us, that to, tell, to teach us that just like every single detail of the laws of the mitzvah of the sabbatical year was given to Moses, to Moshe Rabbeinu on Sinai, so too we have to know that all the details of the Torah, even these things that are the fine print all these were given to Moses, were given to Moshe Rabbeinu of Sinai to realize that the entire Torah, with all its details, with all its particularities, with all its fine little nuances, they're all coming from God the Mount Sinai. But it still doesn't answer the question, why particular Shemitah? Why does not the Torah use another mitzvah to tell us this, that everything was given to Sinai, on Sinai? So the answer, I think, lies in the following Two verses. What does it say there? As we just quoted the verse, God says, When you will come to the land of Israel, you should, the land shall rest as a day of Shabbos, a year of Shabbos, a year of rest. And then it goes on to say, Six years, for six years, you may sow, you may plant, you may take care of your fields, etc., and gathered its produce. And on the seventh year, Bashon Ashvi, Shabbos, Shabbos, and Yelo Oretz, the seventh year shall be a complete rest of sh- for the Lord. You should not sow, you should not prune the in it, etc. Now, one would expect, before you tell us about the rest of the resting of the land, you should first tell us about the working of the land. Just think about it, if a guy is coming to uh, apply for a job and uh, he's been interviewed by HNR and uh, his first question is, would you please tell me what days or what weekends and what weeks we are off, the company is closed and we are not working? Now, I presume this fellow has very little chance of being hired by this company. So the Torah should have first said, Adaber Hashem el Moshe. God is speaking to Moshe, etc., whatever it is, on Mount Sinai. Speak to the Jewish people. Coming to the land of Israel, for six years you should work. But on the seventh you should rest. You should give the land a rest. Why is he starting? First of all, you should know the seventh day is rest. And now, by the way, six years you work. But the answer is as following. God is telling us, what is the goal and what are the means towards the goal? Is the goal the work? 
is the goal being involved in the mundane in planting and sowing and reaping benefit, making money, being successful? Or is the goal the rest for Hashem? The day of rest, the year of rest, a year dedicated for God and godliness. Obviously, the Torah tells us the goal is the Shemitah, the sabbatical year, the holy year. The six years are just a means towards it. And that's why the Torah prefaces the whole concept of work is to recognize it's only a means to be able to serve Hashem. And this is why it is given on Sinai. That's what the whole Torah is all about. That's why the Torah chooses this mitzvah to tell us that we should know the whole Torah is given by God and for God and this is our purpose.